Hi, welcome to this episode. We'll introduce how to adjust the environment and effects for the scene. Apart from adjusting basic parameters like exposure or brightness. You can also use the environment and effect system to create a better atmosphere. Here we'll show how to turn the first scene into the third one. Note that this is only a demonstration. You should edit the scene according to your own needs. First, let's adjust the environment. When the shadow edge looks too blurry, you can decrease the sun disk radius a bit. Then turn on the fog effect. Increase its intensity and start distance. Start distance means how far from the camera the fog will appear. For example, if the start distance is 1000 meters, the sphere space around the camera with a radius of 1000 meters will not be affected by the fog. Fog has another adjustable parameter called falloff. The lower the falloff value, the softer the transition from the fog to non-fog area. D5 can also produce the volumetric light. You can try it yourself. Here we want some ponds on the ground to offer reflections. So switch on precipitation. Adjust the strength to zero and the rain will disappear. You can change the size of ponds through puddle. After completing the environment adjustment, go to the effect panel for basic post-processing. You can turn down the exposure a bit so the scene will look darker. Then increase the contrast. The sky seems too bright for now, which means the highlight should be turned down. Shadow controls the darkness of the image. The smaller the shadow value, the grayer the image will be. Here we increase it, making the darkness more obvious. White balance decides if the scene looks warm or cold. Pull it right when you need a warmer tone. We gave tint a negative value and the scene will look green. If positive, it will look red. Bloom will give the scene a halo effect. Vignette darkens the corners, so viewers will be attracted by the image center. But not all the scenes need this technique. Chromatic aberration, also known as color fringing, is a color distortion that creates an outline of unwanted color along the edges of objects in a photograph. Adding a bit of this, no more than 0.2, will make the scene more realistic. Turn up the saturation so the color will become brighter. Finally, add a specific visual style to the image with LUT. Now we're finished with the environment and effects adjustment. Don't forget to save these changes. And we're all set to render.